So I'm going to take you through how to calibrate the HUMAC system. So what you want to do from the main screen on the HUMAC is you're going to pick Utilities Calibration. So Utilities Calibration. The first thing you need to look at is it depends on your weights. If you have the original Cybex weights, they're certified 25 pounds and don't have any numbers on them. If your weights have numbers on them, you need to put them on the lowest to the highest in weight value. Um, so you have to check your weights. And from the calibration menu, the bottom choice says weights. If you pick weights, it should have the values. Number one should be the lowest value. Number four should be the highest value. Okay. If they're the Cybex calibration weights and there's no numbers written on the side with a marker, you're all set. Okay. So how to calibrate. First, pull down the menu at the top and pick the name of the person doing the calibration. Then you want to click Calibrate Torque. And what you do is you read each sentence, and then once all the sentences are completed, then you click the checkbox. So the first sentence says, move the chair away from the dynamometer. So here's the chair. Away from the dynamometer means away from the dynamometer. The next thing says, set the chair rotation to zero. So if the chair rotation isn't at zero, set it to zero. Set the dynamometer tilt to zero, so this is a dynamometer tilt angle. This guy, so it's at zero. Set the dynamometer rotation to zero and lock the dynamometer fully load, uh, lowered. So the zero is here, so I push my dynamometer all the way down and then I lock it in place. Position the input adapter at the 12 o'clock position, so you might have to open your ROM stop. Here's the input adapter, 12 o'clock is straight up. And then it says, set the ROM stops at TOU and TO gray, so TOU and, and gray U, sorry. Close your ROM stops. And then it says, set the uh, knee hip adapter at 45. So your knee hip adapter is this guy, it says knee hip adapter. There's only one hole in it. When that hole is lined up with the pull pin here, that's 45. So if I loosen the knob, I slip this in, I pull back, I let it click in, that's my 45. I tighten the knob. Then it says rest the input adapter against the teal U stop, which is right there. Now I click the checkbox. The next line lights up, it says move the arm, the input adapter towards the TLQ, so I just pick it up a little bit until it locks. Then I press the checkbox. Then it says place 100 pounds on the arm, and this is where it's important. If your weights have numbers on them, you want the lightest weight first, okay? Mine do not. Also, when you put them on, just use the weight to push down the pull pin. So you do this. And 100 pounds is four, is four weights. Once the weights are on the machine, then you click the checkbox and the weights go up and over.
Once the weights come to a rest, the next thing says verification, place 100 pounds on the arm. The 100 pounds are already on the arm, so I just click the checkbox. So the first time when it goes up and over, it actually does the calibration. And now what it's doing is it's going to verify, meaning check the calibration. Once the weights come to a stop, the next line will write up, light up, and what that one says is place 25 pounds on the arm, weight number one. So that's the smallest weight. So what that means is take three weights off. So one, two, three. Click the checkbox. So when it comes to a rest, the instructions will read, remove all weights from the input arm. So I take the, the weight off. Then I click the last checkbox. I click OK. And then, and then in the top left corner, I should see success. And these numbers, so it wanted to see 40.5, it saw 40.9, which is very good. It wanted to see 150.0, it saw 150.0. That's falling one direction. And then this is falling the other direction. Again, the word success in the top left corner is what you want to see. These numbers, 40, 40, 150, 150. Click OK and click OK. And that's the calibration procedure.